All right, number seven. Seven, lucky seven. This will be a lucky seven for you. You, I can see you using this in a fight and uh, scoring either a knockdown or really a clean, impactful punch. It's called the step off, the step off. And a fighter as great as Sugar Ray Robinson. Some people think he's the greatest of all time. He had, I think, 170 wins. That's pretty great. That's very great. That's pretty great. I think it was 170. And somewhere like 110 or 100 something knockouts. Pretty great. Uh, Sugar Ray Robinson. Sweet sugar. Yeah, he was tremendous. Um, he, somewhere along the line, used this type of a punch. And just like it suggests, it's a step off. Where you can do it two different ways either with the guy coming at you or without the jab, like just coming at you, period. You know, some guys don't use the jab or with the jab. We'll do the version how it should look and set up without the jab okay. first. So you're coming at me. Now, again, you know, there's, you know, deception. Uh, you, want the, you want him to be distracted. You want his concentration to be where the punch is not going to be, somewhere else. So you're coming, you're just walking at me. You're walking out, boom! Ah! You, uh, you didn't expect that hook, did no. you? No. Because it's a little late, but again, the timing, it has to be coordinated in sync with your body, with the move. You know, you can't get the, oh, you'd be all discombobulated. It's got to be synchronized right. And that means it has to be practiced. But first, before it can be practiced, it has to be this, taught. And that's what we're doing to the great people out there.